Thank you to Eureka for sponsoring today's video. Eureka's vacuum is powered by the latest motor technology. The Rapid Clean makes cleaning convenient and thorough. It is up to a 40 minutes of fade-free runtime. You can easily switch to max power on fingertip controls to increase suction for better cleaning on carpets and rugs. The Eureka Rapid Clean Pro has an easy rest feature. If you need to take a break while you're vacuuming, just take a break and then you can just let it safely prop it up on the countertops or furniture. And what's great about this, it has an under furniture reach. They move the dust cup to the front so you can lay the vacuum completely flat to reach under beds and furniture with ease. I know that this has been a struggle in my home because we have a lot of furniture that's up and none of our vacuums fit underneath it. The vacuum has many attachments so that you can shorten your stick. So if you want to vacuum off your couches or chairs, you can do that with ease. Has this neat crevice tool so that you can go and do a quick pickup or get into the cracks and corners of various parts of your home. It has LED headlights with bright beams that light all the way around so you can see dust and debris that might otherwise have been missed. And sometimes you, you don't see it so much when you're going to furniture, so this allows you to see everything so you don't miss any little dust bunnies growing onto your couches. Eureka has sponsored my channel before, and I love this company because I love their stick vacuums. They are quality good working machines and for our home with 10 kids in it a couple pets in there it definitely gets dirty and so being able to have the ease of vacuum ability is a wonderful thing being able just to pull up this lightweight capacity cordless vacuum is amazing just to be able to take it and just hurry up and suck something up real quick if we need it or if someone spills something just pick it up real quick if needed and my favorite is that it goes under furniture I think out of all of my vacuums this is probably the best feature out of everything is because it's really I don't have a ho old school hose plug-in vacuum anymore where I can just reach underneath and get things so this has the ability to do that and I love that it has that ability so it makes cleaning in my home much easier this is the Eureka Rapid Clean Pro and it's a very affordable vacuum here it's lightweight holds good it's just it's lasted it's lasted longer than any other vacuums I've had and just good quality on it and you're gonna love it because you're gonna be able to go under furniture get into all those hidden spots that other vacuums miss I'll put a link for you to purchase this on Amazon in the description below thank you Eureka for sponsoring today's video Hey guys, hope you're having a great day today. Today is Monday. Happy Monday morning to you. I hope that your morning is going well. My morning is going. I'm up and ready to take on my day. So it seems like these summer days sometimes can turn into a lazy summer day where you don't really want to do a whole lot of cleaning. You just want to be outside swimming and having fun and relaxing. And that's okay to do that too. So Okay, Maxine was stuck in the boys' room. She got the door shut on her. So, days you just don't feel like doing a whole lot, but that's okay. So we're gonna get some things done. We did the dishes yesterday, so we've got those done, which is good for the weekend. Kind of chill weekend, not a lot of picking up. It's gonna be a rainy week. I think the forecast all week shows rain. Like if I show you my little weather app, which our internet's not working either, so you know, that's fun. Yes, look, every day. Every day, a chance of rain. So it's okay. Last week we had beautiful weather, so I'm just gonna go with it and just say, okay, this week we'll get some more things done. I picked up some plants this last week, so I didn't even plant any plants yet or flowers, so I've got some of those to put in, And but we'll see. If it's raining, we'll just be inside today getting inside stuff done. So I'm gonna get going, clean up, just like we do every Monday, because it's routine, it's what you do. Even when you don't feel like it, just get a little bit done and get a few things done in your home, and then you go, okay. I did it, now I can go sit and relax, or now I can go out by the pool, or now I can read that book that I want to read, and you know, work and get your work done first, and then go have your freedom. So I'm gonna do them, get an earbud in, start cleaning up, be as ready. All right, let's go. Okay, we did dishes last night, but 
actually one of our bags here. I'm like, we need to hang it up. So in here I have clothespins, and that's where I hang everything up to dry, right here. And let's look at our pantry. Okay, so I did a quick go through of my pantry there and got out some things that were kind of old and threw away. That, there's a trash back here. So I did some containers here to get washed and then some food that we had that was just to go in the sink. So I created more dishes, of course. So I'm gonna fill up the sink real quick. I'm gonna use this new scrubber. I got a silicone one. It came with my colanders, so on my strainers. I don't know. Let's see if it works. You always find that you spend so much time cleaning up your kitchen after I think of how many hours that I spend in this kitchen cooking and making things and then not just myself but all the kids as well so so much can happen in this room where it gets very very dirty it's like the bathroom <laughs> so it takes a long time to clean it but at least most of it's all cleaned up pretty good and um, I wiped down the front there was some jam some jam on the front of the cupboard there but I just wiped that off so I could have left it if I wanted to but I thought you know what, let's just whip it off I see it wipe it off real quick versus leaving it there until the next time you deep clean otherwise you can have stuck on jelly for a month in your, your kitchen there so my kitchen is all finished now so I'm gonna move on to my dining room Start with my little coffee drink center here. Just have to wipe it off. Haven't done that in a little while. It seems it's getting, kids are using it and making hot chocolate and different things on here. And they, they put the ramen cups in here. So just need to wipe. So I like to pick up all my bar stools and the benches and just put them up so I can get a good vacuum all the way under the floors here. We can run the robots and it can go around it, but I just like to pick it up so I can steam up. I do like to steam up once a week just to get all the dirt off. That's what I find is my favorite thing. You steam up once a week. During the week, we can just do a quick wipe with a regular mop on the floor, but to get all that good deep dirt off, I like to mop, steam up. So I'm just gonna put all the chairs up. I have lots of books on the table here that I'm meaning to get you for school and we will get there eventually. And then I had a watermelon dropped off from a friend. So We'll cut that up this week. I don't know what happened. We have 10,000 pairs of shoes all of a sudden. Let's go put our vacuum in the pool. Okay, pool is stained blue, but I, I don't have any much high hopes because it's gonna rain for like the next week. So I'm hoping that it doesn't do anything. We'll see. That's the downfall, having a pool, right? Just the weather change. So I'm gonna try to keep up on it in hopes that it'll be fine. I got my vacuum here. Let it go into do anything. I'm gonna backwash and then uh, we'll see what it looks like. Look at the perfect little, poor little mouth, look at, oh, it's alive still. Look at that, it gets stuck in the water, let's put you right here. You can dry off. It's really dirty underneath and then it also, uh, it's so warm though. The temperature has been 80 degrees in the water. We never hit that at all last year. So my solar heaters over here, amazing, amazing. So we'll see how it is this week when it's cloudy, but it was definitely really nice all last week. So loving that. Look at these little, look at these June bugs everywhere. All right, I'm waiting for my stuff to get dirty, backwash, and then um, I'll have to make a, I try to keep my, ble my bleach, my chlorine out here. I need to get some more brought up from the garage. So I just, every night I've been pouring like about a third of the container in there just to be careful. Hold on one sec. Just to 
put enough in there to you know give a little bit of chlorine so hopefully it'll uh, prevent it so I'll have to get some up today to put in there but yeah it's good it's been awesome loving loving the pool for the summer definitely use it a lot more this year than last year last year was just frozen I felt like all the time so very nice to have it oh these bugs are everywhere look at the beetles ah! oh sorry Ruby got one of those stuck on her nostril when she was a puppy the little claw things got stuck right in her nose oh we had to try to get that thing out of there poor doggy okay tons of them in the water here Okay, so this is good. Let the pool get clean. It's got bugs on top, so we'll, we'll come, come out today later. It's gonna rain in the afternoon, so hopefully later we can do it. Hey, Maxine. She's like, it's watery wet, so let's go back in and finish up the home. I see a faint blue sky. I know it looks all probably white for you guys. Let's see. There, I see a little bit of blue. Maybe, just maybe, we'll get a little bit of sunshine. We'll see. Okay, check out my trash today. It's really full, so I'm gonna, it's heavy. I'm gonna take it down and drop it in Greg's truck so he can take it to the dumpster this morning. Okay, super heavy, got it done. Got a couple of plants here. Those two, I just bought, they're like, what are they called, like farmer's best friend or something? Let me see. Gardening made easy, that's what I need. So you just put them in, they, they grow really well. It's been, it's really late, it's like July and I'm finally buying them. So I just got two. I'll plant those in there later. So just gave Ruby water. She's gonna need some food. So I'm gonna go in, wash my hands, and then um, keep working. I was gonna put Maxine's toys in her box, but she saw me. She's like, oh wait, don't touch my stuff. I'm gonna take a break for water, get some water here with peppermint extract. Really refreshing. Okay, decided to come outside. I'm just doing, I have to do like bathrooms, but I'm still waiting for everybody to wake up. Everybody's snoozing in today and that's okay. So I'm gonna take my car out of the garage and I'm gonna clean the inside of it out. Just wipe it down. I got some um, like cleaning wipes. We were at Aldi, they were $4 or something like that. And they're the Isle of Shame, I think it's called. So I'm just gonna wipe the inside of my car out. The kids will vacuum it out later, but we all share in doing jobs. So I'm just gonna get it so I can wipe it out. Cars get so dirty with children. Yes, they do. So I just got some wipes. These are leather care wipes. So I thought I would use these in my car. I am. I like do like using my Norix cloth, but I feel like is that bad to use water on your leather forever? I don't know. I don't know. So I found these and I thought, well, let me try them. We'll just take out the whole thing.
Okay, car is done. I don't know about those wipes. It seems like it left a lot of streaks and everything, but we'll see. Let's go in and figure out what else we can do. We got all those magic razors for really cheap at the store, so I've been using that in the tub. It works fine, clean, and just like the Norex cloth. You watch all these cleaning videos and they use all these colored stuff to clean your toilet out. You don't need any of that. Just simple vinegar, a little bit of bleach, whatever you use to clean your toilet out. The less suds, the better. Suds are just for fun to look at. <laughs> you just need a chemical that cleans. Just gonna wipe off my closet dresser in here. Okay, so it's been a little bit of time here. So I'm steam mopping my floor. I do enjoy my steam mop once a week on the floor. I have the other one someone asked. They said, don't you have a, a cordless one? It's just a mop vacuum. It doesn't steam up. So for myself, this does a really good job. That's good for like everyday real quick cleanups, but this is good for once a week. Okay, so it's been a good, a busy morning, getting all the stuff I need to get done. I've had a lot of distractions. You know, sometimes when life throws you distractions, you just gotta go, <sighs> okay, take a break, try to deal with it, and then get back to life. So that has been how my Monday's going. It's like one of those days and I'm like, <sighs> okay. So it's much easier just to run away, just let everything sit and just go do nothing. You can do those things too, I did. <laughs> but just deal with what you gotta deal with then just pick back up and keep going. I'm like, I know what I gotta do and I'm almost done and that will be good. I'm gonna have to think about food today. We have poor boy subs in there for lunch. We ate most of those this weekend, which is good. We have enough for lunch today. And then um, I'll think about dinner tonight. I'm not sure what to do for that. And we still have to do some reading. We got a whole pile of books over here to do for school that I've been putting up, putting up, putting up. But we will get there eventually, right? It's like eventually we will get there doing our thing. So it's just, just like every other mom sitting at home on a Monday and rainy, the kids aren't getting out, not doing anything. And you're like, ah. so trying to get those projects done, getting those things done in the home that need to get done. And then you know what? That sun's going to come back out eventually. Eventually the sun comes back out. <laughs> Do you guys remember the movie? What is it? The jingle all the way where they're like they go to get the turbo man and they're like here's a certificate he's like eventually you will get another one so that's where i say eventually eventually we will get it all done and we'll get there we'll get the sun will come back out another day so today we'll just enjoy being in and getting things done at home so all right let me get kids moving around here and we're just gonna keep on going with our day okay so lunch right here the poor boy said so these you can either put in the microwave or put them in the air fryer and they get a little bit crispy. Delicious. Froze these a few months ago, about a month ago. Still delicious. Okay, so we had lunch and we got to read a chapter of our book. We're, we're reading like a chapter a day. It's been, we're in 15 days. So it's taken a while, 
but great, great book. I know some of you said you got it and there was like, I think um, Amazon has the Audible for free and you can get all, there's three of these books. They said they're really good. So we just read this, doing that, going on chores. Okay, so everybody's doing chores. I'm gonna make dinner. This is gonna be, we're gonna do these, the Chipotle chicken burrito bowls. We usually do the beef ones. I've got this chicken meat up here. So I'm gonna just heat my chicken up and then add the seasoning to it and that's it and cook rice. It's really simple and put beans on the side. It's a simple dinner. Do you need a package? No, you can just use your own stuff. But I've been doing the beef one and we really like that. So I thought, let's try the chicken. They're like a dollar for all the rice and that. So we're gonna mix this up and uh, this will be good for dinner tonight. So I'm gonna just heat up over here on the stove. So this is just frozen salad. So I'm gonna just put this in here. And we will heat that up and get a lid. These are so simple meals because they literally just put in the pan and heat them up. So this is cilantro rice. I'm sure I just buy cilantro rice or just put cilantro. It's basically a powder. It's good though. I'm sure this will be delicious. I'll just let me put all this in there. Did I? Yeah. Did the girls help though? I'm only gonna add one packet to that because there's not much chicken because I still have a lot of that chopped beef up. So I'm actually gonna serve the beef along with the chicken, and you could do that as a bowl too tonight. The one that I made the Euro meat because it never got eaten this weekend. Look at Maxine. She right there, waiting for her mommy. <laughs> Get you over here. So what I'm doing, I'm gonna gather fragments. We used up our food this weekend, but I still have that meat. So what I'm gonna do is, after this is all, it's already cooked, after it's unthawed, I'm gonna put that in here and then I'm gonna heat up the beef there and put that right next to it so they can choose the beef or the chicken. These are chili beans. One container in my freezer, so I'm gonna put these in here, that was a frozen solid chili bean, and then I'm gonna add one can of chili beans. And I just pour it on the floor. Always clean your mess up right away, not to make a ton. So this is gonna go in the microwave, cover it, so it can uh, heat up in the microwave. be good. This will be a good easy dinner for everybody because there's no cheese in it. You can add cheese to it, but you don't have to, so it makes a nice meal. I'll probably, maybe I'll cut the watermelon. Maybe I'll serve the watermelon, or let me see what else. I might not. I have cantaloupe in here and I have um, applesauce. So I might just keep that. I'll probably just keep that. So that will work out. Then it'll be enough meal for everybody because Evan is home. He went away for a week back to Michigan, which was really nice. So he got to take a little vacation. So he'll be home for dinner tonight. I hope he will be. We'll see, sometimes he's older, he'll probably eat out, but I'll be like, I got some beef and chicken. <laughs> so it'll be good. Then we'll have this and it'll be good. Parking, parking, parking. Max, can you let her outside, Maddie? Okay, anyways, I'm gonna put the other chipotle packet in here. I think that with the beef will be good. I'll make it a little bit spicy. It's a little bit different than just having the sandwiches because the sandwiches did not get eaten this weekend, so might as well turn it into some kind of taco -y. Taco meat, so that'll have a little bit of spice to it too. So this is almost done, I'll put in here. Beans are almost done. Rice is almost done here, where it looks like that is a good time to shut it off. And that's it, let it simmer. And then you're good, dinner's gonna be done. This is really simple to make. Make this on your own, it was gathering up fragments and using them. Okay, so I am done for dinner. So I've got my chicken and beef over there covered. Tastes good. 
that's the beans and that's the rice. That's it. We can put lettuce. I have actually salad my friend brought me. We can use that. We can use cheese. So that's going to be dinner. We'll make burrito bowls and then they have this queso cheese, which is really, really, really good. So you just squish it around because it's cheese in a package. <laughs> Sprinkle on top. Way to go. So that's the dinner. I'm going to put it in the oven because it's not dinner time yet. So I'm gonna keep that in warm and then that's dinner. That'll be dinner this evening. So that's it, dinner finished. That's it, the kids are doing their chores. We're gonna have a great day today. It's been a good Monday to be able to relax this afternoon and do whatever we wanna to do to catch up. So I've got, the kids are doing their chores. I'm getting my stuff done. So I'm gonna pull, I pulled off my footage here. So I'm gonna edit for a little bit because this takes time to get done. It takes me a couple hours and then I gotta get my laptop up to upload to get the video up for the week. All right, so it's one of those weird days right now. The sun is coming up, but it's raining. So it's raining and I see the sun in different pockets. So it's a day, it's the afternoon now. So I am going to finish filming for my day today because what I have to do is, um, like all the work is done. Kids did all their chores. They're cleaning the guinea pig cage out right now and they're doing, Jensen just did little, um, sweet potatoes cage so all the animal cages are clean which is nice and then um, we're finished with everything I've got one more load of laundry but that's no big deal dinner is done which is a really good thing so what I am gonna do is finish close today's video because I have to go I have to go take my laptop and get it uploaded tonight because I have to get it done before I post it and so the time restriction we don't have internet here at all like at all at all it doesn't even work right now like we, we have a little hot spot and it's just not even working at all so even our phones the horizon is not working at all either so i don't know the rain the clouds who knows so it doesn't make for very fun when that was what your job is <laughs> so we're gonna go ahead i'm gonna go ahead to my local library and then do some a uh, little bit of work there so i can kind of catch up on stuff and then i uh, take my laptop and to the shop and get it uploaded and then we're gonna run to the post office because i got some stuff that i'm hoping that's there and then run to town because jaden's birthday is this week it is on july 1st actually right now she's gonna be gone for her birthday this week so she's not gonna be still in she'll be 17 years old so she's been going away on a, 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 a girl trip well not a girl trip a friend trip <laughs> so she's gonna be gone so i thought hmm, why don't i run to town and go get pick up some dessert for us to celebrate birthday tonight. So she's already got her gift. So I thought, why don't we at least have a nice, um, we'll do the burrito bowls, she likes those, and then we'll pick up some yummy dessert for her. So that's what my focus is gonna be this afternoon. So you won't see any of that and won't film any of that, but that's what we're gonna be doing tonight as a family celebrating. Oh, kitty cat. So I'm gonna close today's video. So you guys, I hope that your day is going well. I hope that your Monday is going well. And sometimes it doesn't, trust me. Some days, Mondays is just the worst day ever. But sometimes Tuesday is the worst day and Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, I mean, every day kind of can seem down sometimes but you got to keep your focus and go okay what is it I have to do today and take it a one day at a time you don't have to think into the future you don't have to plan months in advance what things are gonna look like or next week or you know next year or whatever just think what do I do today I always ask myself and ask the Lord when I'm having a crazy day or sometimes it want to get stressful and it feels like things are coming against me and I just have to stop and go all right Lord what is it you want me to do right now for the next three hours like that sometimes, like there's been times in my life where like that's all I could think about was like, what do I do for the next three hours and the next three hours? And like, that's how I, how I did things. And then it was like, okay, now what do I could do for the next day or the next few days? And you kind of just don't put that pressure. Just like, what do I do today? And then, you know what? Give yourself some grace. All right. This is what I got to do. I got to get done and then I can relax. So that's what I'm, my focus is today. Okay. I know what I have to do. I'm getting to that point. I'm done filming and editing that'll be a big part of it and then then I can go get the things that I need to get done that I want to go out and do running for and it's good it's a good day and it's gonna be a great day tomorrow I'm gonna go take a relaxing day tomorrow Madeline and I are gonna take a day off so so we are gonna take a girls day out tomorrow so I'm excited for that I've been trying to take my kids out one by one doing different things and I think I ended up taking one of them out last time and then didn't want to film it because I wanted to keep you know the child doesn't always like to be on camera and then it just didn't work out to even film it at all oh kitty cat kitty cat <laughs> Chi Chi, she just rubbed up against the pole. So I'm gonna take Maddie. Maddie loves being on camera. She don't mind. <laughs> She's young. So we're gonna go out and get a nail appointment. So we called and made an appointment with our lady Nancy and got our gonna get our nails done, gonna get lunch, and I'm gonna go see what else we're gonna do to get for her. So it's gonna be a good day. So the big question is what color nails are we gonna get done today? So she thinks she's gonna go for green because that matches her skin tone and she's got some green outfits. I'm like, that's good. I might go with the same color. I really like my pink 
This one, the toes are a little bit brighter, but I feel like I like this color. So I might just go the same one. I don't know, maybe I'll go burgundy, but I feel like the pink will be nice. Nice summer color. So we're gonna do that tomorrow. So it's gonna be a nice easy day for me tomorrow. I'll bring you along. It'll be easy video, but fun day for us. Mother-daughter bonding time. So good to do those when, oh, careful kitty, when you can. So I'm closing, I'm going. So you guys have a fantastic rest of your day. Remember, remember, if anything today, remember that you are designed you are created and you are selected by God to do great, the kitty cat, great, wonderful things. You are, you might not think so. You might think, oh, I'm just a homemaker. Oh, I'm just a lady that works 40 hours at a shop or I'm just this or I'm just that. No, God has designed you to do something specific in this life. You, you were designed and then you were created and he selected you to do great, wonderful things. And it's something in your own little world, something in your own, your little community. I don't know what it is. It's whatever God has for you. It's different than mine, different than your neighbors, different than other people. It's something specific just for you that God knows that you can do. So get on that path, find out what that is because it's an amazing, amazing adventure. So, all right, you have a beautiful rest of your day. I'm gonna see you tomorrow. It's a girl's nails day out. So I'll see you tomorrow. All right, bye.